an anti-hero is a anti-Christ. Shalom, first and foremost, giving all praises, honor, glory, respect, and blessings to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rabbi Kadash. Salutations to the Lord's elect on the four corners of the earth, pushing this truth in all sincerity, patiently waiting for Yahweh Shai's return. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, which have taught us everything we know through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Racha Kadash. Now, as you see the definition on the screen of this video, anti hero. Now, for those who don't understand, you know, a lot of people like to watch, you know, movies and they look at the villains and they like, you know, this villain is so cool or I hate this villain. But a lot of people don't get a lot of people don't realize that they are a villain. And the main villain rule running this planet are the are the Edomites, which are the so-called white people. OK, starting with the so-called elites down to the U.S. government, to the Illuminati, to the Congress, the Senate and so forth. And then it really trickles down to to the heathen nations. OK. So you might ask, what is an anti hero? An anti hero. Well, the word anti means what against. And then you got the word hero. So an anti hero is somebody who is against a hero. Now, we know that the main hero who died on the cross 2000 years ago, we know his name to be Yahawashai, who the world ignorantly called Jesus. OK, he was the main hero who died on the cross 2000 years ago. And uh, even until this very day, the majority of the world is against Yahawashai. They're against the, the, the hero, the main hero. And not only are they against Yahawashai, but they're also uh, against his elect men. So if, if, if you're coming up against the word of the Most High, when the Lord's elect is out there teaching, you're an anti-hero via an anti-Christ. Okay? And the majority of the world is filled with anti-heroes, people who are against the Lord and his anointed. Because just like how, you know, like people like to say, the Antichrist shall come. The Antichrist shall come. Well, there's more than one Antichrist, just like how there's more than one hero. Because Yahawashai, he's not the only hero. You know, his elect men are also heroes too. Okay? And, and how are the Lord's elect men heroes? Because they're the only ones uh, of the nation of Israel which the true Israelites are the so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Indians, the elect of the nation of Israel, the chosen ones, they're the only ones who are fighting to do the right thing. You know, not committing sin, keeping the law, statutes, and commandments to the best of their ability. Okay, keeping the law, statutes, and commandments to the best of their ability. Keeping the high holy days, they're fasting, praying, doing everything they can to please the Most High and, and, and His Son, you know. But there's also some of the Lord's elect who's going to be martyrs, but they're going to be risen back up, the first ones to be resurrected with crowns on their heads. And as for the ones who remain, like I tell you in First Thessalonians, the uh, the fourth chapter, those that remain is going to be beamed up. So Yahawashai, he's the main hero, but he also, there's also heroes under Yahawashai, and, and that's the elect. So anybody who is against Yahawashai and his elect men is an anti-hero. So 
There's more than one antichrist and there's more than one hero. So an anti-hero is somebody that is opposite of a hero, a villain. So if you're not keeping the law, statutes and commandments to the best of your ability in this generation, you will be considered a villain. If you're smoking, you're a villain. If you're committing adultery, you're a villain. If you're into homosexuality, you're a villain. If you're eating pork, you're a villain. If you're eating shrimp, you're a villain. If you're getting edge ups, line ups, or making baldness upon your head, or or if you have, if you're a man and you got a smooth face, you're a villain. If you're a woman wearing pants, you're a villain. Okay, if you're a woman walking around without your head covered, you're a villain. Okay, if you a false Israelite teaching opposite of what the Most High have set up, you're a villain. If you're adding to the scriptures or taking away from the scriptures, you're a villain. Okay, vocab Malone, you, you're, you're a big villain, man. Okay, you, you a big villain. Okay, if you mocking or scoffing at the men of the Lord, you're a villain. You know, if you don't believe that Yahawashah came 2,000 years ago and died on the cross for the nation of Israel, you're a villain. <laughs> if you don't believe that Elijah is Abba Bivens in a reincarnation, you're a villain. Okay, if you don't believe in the Most High, Yahweh, or his son, Yahawashah, period, you're a villain. So that supports my point. There are many antichrists via villains, AKA anti-heroes in this world, man. So a, a, a villain is someone that is opposite of a hero. You know, the true heroes in this generation are gonna be fighting to do the right thing. Which, uh, how do you know to do the right thing? The Holy Scriptures teaches you how to do the right thing. The law, statutes, and commandments of the Heavenly Father. Okay? That's, that, that's how, how you learn to do the right thing. This is the book of 1 John, chapter 2, verse 18. Little children, it is the last time. And as ye have heard that Antichrist shall come, does everybody like to say the Antichrist is going to come and, 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 and kill many? Nah, man. There's, there's many Antichrists. Okay? The Illuminati are Antichrists, a.k.a. anti-heroes. The so-called elites are our anti-heroes. They're, they're Antichrists. Everyone that worked for the U.S. government, the Senate, the Congress... And so far, they are all antichrists. They are anti-heroes. Okay. Anybody who despised the word of Yahawashai, you know, though those who was once in his truth and fell back out into the world, they will be considered an anti-hero and anti-Christs. You against the Lord. Okay. Anybody who despised the law, statutes, and commandments of the Heavenly Father is an antichrist, an anti-hero. Little children, it is the last time, and as ye have heard, that antichrist shall come. Even now there are many antichrists, whereby we know that it is the last time. So Shalom is on to the next one. Shalom.